uh, very good morning mm, in this video lecture we will be uh, analyzing a question of statically indeterminate problems now let us now draw a diagram let us draw a bar this is a bar then it is supported at two points okay this is a hinge support that is present for the bar then this point is named as a this point is e this point is f this point is b and these two wires are supported at point c and d respectively now the point b is loaded with a vertically downward force this is a vertically downward load which is p okay these two wires that is that are supporting the you know the the, the bar ab at points e and f the length of these bars or these wires is l okay and the cross section area of these two wires it is same that is given to be as a okay and these distances that is ae ef and fp they are all same okay we are required to find out the stress that is developed in the wire ce so we will be finding out stress in wire ce sigma 1 let us say and we will be finding out the stress in wire df let us say that is sigma 2 now one thing we would like to uh, note here that both of these stress are tensile in nature okay now in order to determine the stresses let us draw a simple free body diagram of this problem let's draw the bar okay and this is point a and this is point b point e and point f okay you will have now this is the vertically downward load p so on these two on these two what do you call it uh support that is support e and support f you will have vertically upward loads that will be acting in this direction and let us name them f1 and f2 okay and at this hinge support there will be a reaction that will be acting in the vertically downward direction okay now if we take the moments from this free body diagram about point a let us take moments of the forces about point a so you will have let us say i'll write down moments about point a so it will give you this is b b and b it will give you f1 into b plus uh f2 into 2b and this is equal to p into 3b okay if we cancel out the term b 
okay you would be left with this equation f1 plus 2 f2 equal to 3 p now if you have a look at this equation you have two unknowns one unknown is f1 the other known unknown is f2 but you only have one equation okay so you cannot determine f1 and f2 with the help of this equation so this kind of a problem at your hand is called a statically this is called a statically indeterminate system it is a statically indeterminate system because you have two unknowns and you are left with just one equation okay so let us now mark this equation as one now moving ahead let's draw the displacement diagram for the given problem at hand let us now this is the bar and uh, This is the displacement diagram. Okay. Let us now name this as point A. This was point B. Okay. And this was point E and point F. Let us say the deflection or the displacement of point E is delta 1 and the displacement of point F is delta 2. Now this, these displacements occur because when there is a load which is acting here, okay, it makes the bar to rotate about point A. Okay, so this is the kind of displacement diagram that you would achieve now if we look at them this is b this was also b and this is also b these distances are same if we were to assume that this triangle and this complete triangle they are similar then from the similarity of triangles i would say delta 1 by b equal to delta 2 by 2b now if i cancel out b i would be left with an equation that says that the value of displacement of point f that is delta 2 is twice the value of displacement of point e that is delta 1 so this is another equation that we would be considering while finding out the values of stresses okay now if i have to find out the value of delta 1 let us say so invoking the basic uh, stress strain equation delta 1 is equal to the load on this point is f1 the length of the wire is l okay let us say the material has a constant Young's modulus that is E and the cross section area is given to be A and then the value of delta 2 would be F2 into L by E into A ok now as we can see that delta is proportional to F so I can very well state that F2 will be twice F1. So we can state this. 
okay f2 is equal to twice f1 so we have a relation between f1 and f2 so we can use this equation in equation 1 okay so if we recall the equation 1 equation 1 was f1 plus 2f2 is equal to 3p now I know that f2 is equal to 2f1 if I substitute the value of f2 in this equation I will get f1 plus 4f1 is equal to 3p now from this I can get the value of f1 that is an unknown value in terms of a known value that is p so I will get 3p by 5 so this is the value of f1 okay and if I resubstitute this value of f1 in this equation I will get the value of f2 okay so the value of f2 would be 6p by 5 okay so now I have the values of f1 and f2 okay moving ahead if as we were told that we need to find out the stress in wire CE let us say that is sigma 1 so the force acting on this wire is F1 and the cross section area is given to be A so the value of F1 that we found out from the previous slide was 3p by 5 so now let's put this value in this equation you will have 3p by 5a okay and if I have to find out stress in wire df that is sigma 2 that was f2 by a now again going back and checking the value of f2 that was 6p by 5 so let's put this value here so you'll have 6p by 5a so these are the two stresses that are required to be found out in the question so this is how you solve you know uh, a statically indeterminate uh, uh, system of question uh, system of the uh, questions and after finding out sigma 1 sigma 2 if you are required to find out the values of elongations then we can very well substitute the values of f1 and f2 over here and find out the elongations